because we may be going somewhere today, maybe getting something today. Confused? All right. Got our chair. We did. We're home. I'm gonna attempt to get it out of the car with Riley. See how this goes. Probably can't do this one-handed, can I? <laughs> Hi. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another vlog. It is hot in the house, and I don't know why Riley says she's cold. Me and Aiden are hot. I'm assuming it's not very cold today, but I'm about to look because I am like hot. And I probably should go put on like a t-shirt or yeah, something. Cause... She just sits there on the couch while I'm getting my books. Was she waiting for you yeah, and then she patiently? Oh. Can you tell them? Yeah, tell them. I did not feel it. I didn't vlog yesterday. Okay, I didn't. Put it on Instagram. You're right. Tell them what we did. Well, and we'll do it again and we'll film it next time. I guess we can save me and dad because mom didn't really get in. No. But me and dad tried out the hot tub last night. How was it? It's honestly a miniature pool heated and it, it's like got big bubbles I guess. Mm -hmm. I really like it because it's so warm. Like it's literally like taking a hot bath. So anywho, that's what they did and they enjoyed it a lot. Um, it's 46 degrees outside. 46? Yeah, like, so You're why am I hot? Let me just turn this down a whole lot. I don't know why I'm so hot, I feel like I'm sweating. Like my upper lip is sweating. 46? I don't know what's going on, but supposedly it's not, um, as warm as I thought. I'm just in denial. I'm about to go, I don't have to feel, hold on. It feels like really good outside. I mean, it's cold, but anyway, we're gonna get going on the day, get school going, tell everybody hello, Charlotte. Say good morning, people. And then I'll talk to you guys about something shortly once we get some school done, because we may be going somewhere today, maybe getting something today. Confused? I'm not confused. Okay. All right, we are almost done with school. Aiden is finished. He has been finished actually for a few minutes. Briley's got like two subjects left, so we're almost there. But what I want to talk to you guys about and let you know what I'm doing today is making decisions on furniture. Um, I am still having a hard time with knowing exactly what we want to put in our bedroom. And me and Barry talked about it and really we need to sell what's in there first before going to buy more furniture. Because Barry's like, what's gonna happen is, we're gonna end up getting new furniture, putting that in the garage, and it's gonna just sit. And he's right. If I go ahead and sell it, that'll give me the motivation to get the new furniture. I'll be more motivated to sell it, because I want the new furniture. Does that make sense? So, Barry's right. So I think we're not gonna wait on bedroom furniture, is what I'm saying, but I think we are going to at least try to get rid of the pieces we have. So when the new comes, we can just put the new up there. I am thinking about going today and purchasing a recliner for the living room. If you saw the last vlog, you saw where I kind of moved everything around in the house. And I'm trying to make room for a new chair we want to get for the living room. But here's the thing, we're between two. They look identical because they're like upholstered. So they look the same with the same fabric. But one swivels, so it does this number, and it's a glider and it reclines. The other one is just like a rocker and it reclines. The one that does not swivel lays further back and you don't have to really use your body weight to hold it, it'll stay there. Whereas the one that swivels and glides, if you're not, if you don't have any body strength up top, it'll just pull you right back up tight recliner. I don't know if that makes any sense. Sitting in them, it makes total sense. I know exactly what I'm saying. But to me, one's more comfortable than the other by a little tiny bit. But the one that is more comfortable is bigger and I don't wanna do like huge chunky furniture. Briley likes the one that swivels and glides. Barry said he could care less, he just wants to lay back in it. So he's like, either one's fine with me, I like them both. Aiden wants me to go with a whole nother one at a whole nother place that is automatic. So I don't know if his vote's gonna win because that one has to be ordered and there's no telling when it'll get here. It is a little cheaper, so I am on that. I like that, but I'm just not sure if I want one that's automatic because then you deal with the mechanisms breaking down or something happening, the motor burnout, and 
you know? But I mean, you also can have the handle break. So I mean, things can happen. But we're trying to make a decision and as soon as Burley's done with school, we're gonna head there, sit in them again, and try to decide which one we wanna get today because I'm gonna go ahead and get one today if I can fit it in my van. Now if it won't fit in the van, I'm gonna probably just pay for it and Dad will have to go by and get it whenever he can get by there. Um, bedroom furniture. I think I know what we've decided on and what we want to go with, and I think I have found the headboard. So, I just gotta get busy getting rid of the furniture upstairs so we can actually get the new. But stick around, we have a lot of projects going on, I feel like, and I'm still gonna buy the bookshelf and I'm still gonna buy the coffee station because I wanna get that done too. I have so many projects I wanna do and I wanna do it all right now, and I know I gotta be patient, and sometimes that's hard, but sometimes I have patience. But in this situation, I just want to like blink my and everything be in the house and it's done. But I know that can't happen. So today is going to be one item purchased. I'm going to purchase the recliner, I think. But which one? I don't know. So stay tuned. Made it to the furniture store and we were just discussing which one we're going with. And I told them it probably depends on the fabric. And what I mean is you can order the chairs in different fabrics, but I'm kind of wanting to take it home today. If they have the one I want with the handle on the outside in the fabric I want, we'll get that one. If they have to order it, I'm gonna get the other one. And it's a little smaller too, and I think I might wanna go with a smaller one. Cause our living room's not super huge, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, got our chair. We did. <laughs> it's back there in two pieces. But when we get home, we're gonna put it together, and I think we can carry it in the house. I really think we can. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like one big piece. Yeah, I didn't know it came apart. It comes apart. So I was like, that is so awesome. That's nice. It is. Having to like move it and stuff. Yeah, it's very and fit nice. fit it in the car, it's easier to fit it in than having one big and chair. Totally so agree. Get home, I get to skate. Woohoo. Yay. All right, so we're taking off now and heading to go get her something. Oh, my God. What do you want? I want a coffee. I said yesterday was going to be the last day, but it was not. I can't. I didn't sleep at all last night that well. So now she needs I a coffee. I could not fall asleep last night for the life of me. And then I was laying in bed and I woke up at 3, 4, 5, no, 3, 4, and then 6. And kept turning on my TV because it kept turning off. So and I just couldn't a sleep. Rough night. Night. And then we woke back up at 8 and I just couldn't sleep. And I was just, uh. Listen to this. But she's all the time getting Duncan. Yes, Aiden. Shh. But you have a coffee maker. But Duncan is good. Just shut the coffee maker. And you don't have good. to and you don't have to like make a mess. Oh and my god. Cleaner. How is it? Mm. Yes. Good? Mm-hmm. Aiden got a chocolate sprinkled donut. Mm. And now let's go home. What? And I'm regretting That's my weird. decision. I'm used to the cup holder being right here. I know. Like right here at me. It's and not I'm there anymore. It's really far up. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. You're regretting your decision. Why? Uh, I should have gotten brownie batter. The brownie batter one took so good. It's alright. We'll oh, come back. Yeah, we'll come back yeah, apparently. We, will next. we probably will be here tomorrow. <sighs> We're home. I'm going to attempt to get it out of the car with Briley. See how this goes. We have a chair. It's making Bradley sleepy. But this is it, you guys. I love it. I love the fabric. I love the color. It's like really super soft, is it not? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it glides as she's demonstrating. It swivels. <laughs> and it reclines. You want me to show them how to recline it? Yeah. Okay. You reach in here and it reclines back. And then you can also like recline back. Do you like it, Rock? Mm hmm. I love it. This is the one Briley wanted. So this is the one we went with, but yeah, I think it looks good in here too. Yeah, I just like the color of it because I thought this one would go better than the other one. If you look at it with the living room, it goes really well. It goes really good with these, so exciting purchase. So me and Aiden are playing Roblox, okay? 
and like we're seven billion. You got what? Two hundred seven billion. See, his money is going up so much quicker than mine. If you know nothing about Roblox, this will probably make no sense to you, but we're playing like, it's called Money Tycoon, and you get so much money, and you get more money for more stuff you build. He's getting like, way more money than me, so he's like, going through it a whole lot quicker. So, I know he's getting frustrated because it's taking me a while, but I'm trying. Look, Charlotte's smelling the new chair. She's like, whose is this? I'm gonna put this. It's our Charlotte. I'm gonna put this over here. Do you like it? it? Oh, that's fine, you can. Do you like it, eh? She's like, whose chair? She's smelling it like, where'd this come from? Look, she wants to get up there with you. Are you gonna get there with him? Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Ah. Oh my gosh, she wants to sit back. Do it. If you could jump on the couch, I was about to say. Aiden's wanting to get in the hot tub. Make you just snap. Probably can't do this one handed, can I? can't do it one handed. So it's child proof. If you have one of these, you have to actually press the sides and push this clip in. Woo! Trying to take this cover off. Yeah, you can't really do it one handed. I guess it's a child proof thing. You gotta push that when you do the sides. So, I'll be back. <laughs> and this is what Aiden wanted to do. Get in for a minute. Sounds good. I know you love it. What are you doing? What are you doing to the dog? Riley Ann, her doesn't want to dance with you. Does she? It's time for Miss Charlotte to get a bath. She's going to be mad. But it's time for a bath. I turned the bubbles off on Aiden. He's chilling in here. Yeah. And the temperature is not hot as hot as you think, guys. I turned it down because it can go up to like 104, but we don't keep it that hot because Aiden getting in. Yeah, it's literally, it's hot, but it's not like burning. It's warm. It was 90 degrees, I think, last night. All done with bath time. You look so much better. It's cold. We're gonna go grab some dinner because we feel like it. We have no We're excuse. Hungry. We're hungry. Yeah, yeah, and I haven't been to the grocery store and we hadn't placed a grocery order. That was something I was gonna do this weekend, but how busy was our weekend? Like every weekend? Every weekend. Like I'm gonna have to just start doing it during the week, I guess, and that's what it's ended up being. So I'm gonna place an order, I guess, tomorrow or go shopping tomorrow. I hadn't decided, and then we'll have food at the house to cook. But for tonight, it's gonna be an eat out night. But I want to do this quick and get home because I'm cold. I'm just ready to be home. Finish up the stuff on our bed because I still got to do the comforter. Like the blue one. Mm -hmm. It's in the dryer. It's got to go like one more time and I think it's good. But yeah, just ready to be home. So let's go eat. Dinner was great. And now I'm enjoying my chair. <laughs> I really like this chair so much. And like I didn't think I would enjoy it this much. And Briley and Aiden. It's like funny like every time somebody comes in the living room they come straight to this chair to sit down. I think just because it rocks. Dad and Aiden are playing in the garage. I'll go show you them in a minute. Um, Dad is working on Aiden with some of his moves like there's some things he wanted to work on with him we might be having a lot more hockey in our future you know this season's coming to an end as far as um fall the fall season for hockey we're getting ready to roll over to spring and we are doing spring and then i think aiden's going to be doing 
I don't know why I want to call it speed skate. It's not called speed skate because that's roller skating. It's called um, power skate. He's going to be taking a power skate class. He's also going to be doing a clinic and there's something else he's going to be doing. I don't even know, but I don't want it to be every day of the week, although Aiden would love that. Whew, but I don't know if mom would love that. But um, I know we're going to try to put it all into maybe one day a week. He can go or at least twice a week, and then the weekend will be his games and his practices. So he's looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it, too. Don't think I'm not. It's just a lot of travel and a lot of driving, you know. Dad will be able to go to some of his clinics, so that'll be nice, too. He'll get to go to some of those. Aiden is already telling me he wants me to find him a roller hockey league that he can join in the summer. Whew, because they literally take a break. But the break is very short. It's only, I think the spring league doesn't end until June. I could be wrong on this, but I think it ends in June. And then they start right back up end of August, September. So I mean, it's not like it's a long break, but Aiden wants to do a roller hockey team. And I don't even know if they offer that around here. I don't. But he says he saw somebody that had a Canes jersey on playing roller hockey somewhere. I don't remember on a video he saw. So there must be some around somewhere. I just gotta figure out where. And I'll show you what they're up to real quick. All right, explain to me what we're working on. Okay. Okay. When the guy had the breakaway the other day, he scored. And like y'all going down the middle of the ice and he was out in front of him. Like, get right here. Like he like you got the puck right here. No, turn this way. Like you want to score. Oh. He had his luck out in front of him. Like I wanted to work on too. Like you coming, you were skating beside him, you, you could have got through. I want you to work on doing that. I want you to work on doing that. Oh yeah, lifting the stick up. Remember? Work on lifting the stick. But yeah, you you I got what you're saying. You gotta do it with me, and in the game, when you're chasing them, that's what you gotta be doing. You gotta yeah, do this. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. Whatever you put your stick. Yeah. Like, the lower you put your hand on your stick, the harder it is for them to lift up because you got so much power. Right, your body weight's on it. If you're just here. Yeah, they can lift it up at nothing. Nothing's there because you're just holding it like this. You've got nothing to really do it. And if you're holding it like down and forcing it, yeah, take the advice, A, and use it. Yeah. Wait, before you pass it to me, watch this, you ready? You're so silly. This is the book Riley's working on right now. I know some of you guys have asked. That's how much she has read of this book. It's huge, okay? And how many days have you been reading it? One day. One day? And you've gotten halfway through the book in a day? It's not halfway yet. It's close, look. I started another one on my phone so we're calling the whole weekend. So you'll mix books? You I, don't have I to hate, finish? I hate mixing books. Okay, because I was about to say, I cannot do that. No, I, if I read a book, it has to be that book. I hate mixing books, but I knew I would, I knew I'd probably finish that book before I did that one because that one was short. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'll just read this one throughout the weekend so I'm not going to be home barely none. Right. And I'll continue this one this week. But I haven't started this one yet because I'm still in the process of finishing the other one. I only have like 30 pages last night. Oh. Of the other one. So oh, that'd be quick. Yeah, so I'm stunned that I can start reading that one again and continue with it. But I did that just because I knew we wouldn't be home all weekend. I wanted to read something. And I have a bookcase. I finally found one that I really like. A book? A bookcase. Like oh. a bookshelf. I found one I really like because I've been trying to, I know what I wanted in my mind and I know what I wanted it to look like. And I finally found one. But it's a little pricey. So I'm trying to shop around to see if I can find it on sale or something else. But it is going to be kind of a short one. I think, you know, maybe here. I didn't want a big one here because I'm, I'm going to remove this and put something else. 